How's everybody doing today? Great to see you again. If you are new here, welcome to the channel. So we're going to continue looking at single family homes today, but these are all going to have some acreage and you're going to have a choice to live on or off the land, on or off grid. So these are the homes we're looking at today. This is on 14 acres and this is 79.9. Or there's this property here on 20 acres for $105,000. And this pretty log build is on 44 acres of land for $120,000. These are the properties we're looking at today, along with a few others. We're going to check out the details. So grab some coffee, grab a tea, or you can have a cocktail if you like. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. And let's check out these houses as we explore the beautiful state of Maine. We're headed up north today, you guys. We're headed to Maine, beautiful Maine. And we're going to be looking at some unique properties here with some unique builds. And you have the option to live on or off grid, on or off the land. So we're going to begin right here in the lower price points because this property, this house here has almost four acres of land with it. And it's been on the market a while. This is going to be a fixer, but I'm including it because it's $45,000. It's a four bedroom, one and a half bath home with 1,412 square feet. It's a 1,900 build. And with a house like this, I'm sure there's materials that we could repurpose, recycle, and reuse and make this house somebody's home. Looks like it does have a garage on the rear end of it. And uh, this is in Woodland, Maine. So let's check out Woodland, Maine, which is right here on the map. And so we are right here east of Caribou. And this is $45,000, 1900 build. What are we getting for our money? Let's see here. This looks like an amazing property. This was probably a showpiece at one time, and in my opinion, it could be again. Look at how it just sits up there on that hill. This is really pretty. I hope we're going to get a good view of this. This looks really, really nice. Okay, so there is the half bath. There's the sun porch. Okay, so we do have some wallpaper. We have chipped paint. This could be, got to be very careful with these old bills, builds in the paint that's been used in these. We do have sculpted carpet. There is the staircase with a beautiful banister. More wallpaper there that's peeling off the walls. And there, of course, is another view of the outside in that garage there. And unfortunately, that's all they're going to show us, which is really a shame. Okay, so this is 8 Colby Siding Road in Woodland, Maine. Been on the market for 199 days. This could be a really good buy for somebody that wants to restore this house. It's getting warmer in Maine. I think it's almost 60 degrees there today. So live in part of the house and fix up the rest of it. You could live with several people in this place from the looks of it. And the basement stairs are missing, it says. So you've got to use hat caution when you're, show, when you're looking at this place. Get an up-close personal view if you're there in person. You can have a home inspection. And you are a few minutes from Caribou and 20-minute leisure drive to Presque Isle. And abundant wildlife can be seen out back. The house has a lot of potential. Great school system here. And it's a great place for your four-legged friends. You could have a homestead, a garden, a farmette. And uh, just do what you want with this piece of property here. And there is uh, no history on the property. So maybe some longevity Forty with home ownership. $45,000 property on 3.71 acres in Woodland, Maine. It's a good way to start us off right there. Moving into this one here. This is... Another build, this is built in 1970. This one's only been on the market for three days. It's on 9.8 acres of land in St. Albans, Maine, 04971. St. Albans is right here in Somerset County. And we are right here above Newport and below Ripley in St. Albans, Maine. And this is a one bedroom, one bath property. And looks like the dog there, the retriever, may be sniffing out some critters if this has been empty a while. And it just says, fixer upper in a great location, chalet style home. It's non-livable due to extended period of being unoccupied. So enter with extreme cautions. Uh, just under 10 acres of beautiful wooded property and 430 feet of road frontage. Just minutes from Big Indian Pond. Power lines run beside the long driveway and back to the private setting. Makes a great... RV or a campsite and does have the 12 by 24 garage. Any history with this one? No history with it. Okay, so let's see what we're going to see here. 1970 build. 
very cute chalet style building. Super cute. 9.8 acres of land. So there is the parcel. Looks like a complete rectangle for the most part. Looks like we do have a neighbor, across, two across the street and maybe one on the side that's a distance away. Okay, so there's your long driveway. Okay, so it is a wreck on the inside. I don't understand. Okay, so we have a lot of paneling on the walls. But again, one person's loss can be your gain, right? Does not look, I mean the structure looks like it could totally be gutted and you could start with a clean slate with this one also. Kind of hard to tell. The roof doesn't look too bad, but until you're in there uh, and really get a good look at it. But it's been on the market for three days, 9.8 acres of land in St. Albans, Maine. Wow. Okay, moving on to this one here. This one is on 16 acres of land for $59.9. And this has been on the market a while, 219 days. And it does say it was built in 1998. This one is in Enfield, Maine. In Enfield, let's see, where's Enfield? Right below Lincoln here. Enfield, Maine. And let's see here. I'm trying to see if it's going to tell us what county we're in. We are in Penobscot County. And sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. And so let's see what we're getting here. 59.9, 16 acres of land, a 1998 build. Let's see what we're getting for 59.9. Super cute structure. Look at these two dormers. The roof looks like it's in rough shape. It could have a hole in it here. Okay, so we don't have a foundation. We're sitting up on stilts, basically. So we do have a couple of windows on the rear side. Super cute little building, though. Okay, woo, okay. Getting down to the nitty gritty here. So this one is a little bit rough. <laughs> but that's okay. We're looking at land. And looking at the potential, seeing if we have a well, the septic, any utilities at all. We're looking at the land. So we do see a staircase there. Yeah, this one's going to need to be finished. And it looks like we're right down to the plywood here and the studs. Beautiful treed lot. Look at this. The wildlife must be amazing. Man, okay. Let's see here. I just wanted to see if we could, if they're going to show us anything at all, any more of the house. I'd like to know if there's utilities. Hmm. Okay. So there is the structure again. This is off Dodland Road, lot 33 in El Enfield, Maine, 04493. Great wooded lot with a 24 by 24 camp just off Dodland Road, 16 acre in a quiet neighborhood, I would imagine. Not far from Cold Stream Pond, the property does have a dug well that the sellers have recently used. The land by the road is sloping, but the farther you move away, it levels off. Plenty of wood to be cut. And uh, so, yeah, there are two public beach areas and a public boat launch. And the lake has great bass fishing and landlocked salmon and togue. Very cool. Minutes from Lincoln, where you'll find larger grocery stores and things. And okay, so this one is 59.9. It is a 1998 build, and that one has been on the market almost 220 days, 16 acres of land. There you go, guys. If you're looking to be out in the middle of nowhere, off or on grid, you want a clean slate on a cabin build, this might suit your needs. This is super cute. Okay, moving on to this one here. This one is a log build, 79.9 on 14.1 acres of land. This one states it has two bedrooms and one bathroom. And this is map PE 01329 lot 28, Grindstone Township, Maine 04460. This one's only been on the market for 17 days. And when we look at Grindstone, it is right here. So we are north of Bangor and we are south of Presque Isle. Wow, look at this. We are not far from Bell Harbor. Look at that. And Bay of Fundy is right here. Wow, what a location. Okay, so this is 79.9, and this is, doesn't tell us the year it was built, unfortunately, and let's see what it says. Nestled among 14 sprawling acres of untouched wilderness in the enchanting town of Grindstone, Maine, on grid, log cabin presents a rare opportunity for those with passion for restoring and appreciation of the great outdoors. I would say so. 
What are we getting for seventy nine nine? Wow. Oh, I could just camp out there for days. Look at this beautiful place. So we do have a roof issue here. Look at all the timber. I mean, this is incredible. There is a propane or fuel gas tank. A couple of windows on the back side, a window here on the side. Oh my goodness, it's just got to be beautiful there. Just sit there in your lounge chair, in your camping chair, whatever it is, and just explore and enjoy the wild outdoors. That's what I say. Look at how beautiful. That's got to be gorgeous right now. Okay, so they're not going to show us anything else. My apologies, you guys. I don't know what these agents are thinking when they don't give us any interior views. It only takes a few minutes to just snap a few pictures. I don't know how they expect to sell these properties. You know, I, get, I know they want people to come and look at them in person, but pictures can speak volumes sometimes. And a nice log home nonetheless. This one looks like it is just waiting for someone to come and restore it to its glory. 79.9, 672 square feet. And it looks like this is a screened entry there and a nice covered spot here over the door. I wish they showed us some more though, but that's all they're gonna give us. And it's been on the market for 17 days, but it doesn't tell us what year it was built. 14.1 acres nonetheless, very beautiful. And that's Grindstone Township, Maine. Okay, moving on to this one here. Check this out, $105,000, 20 acres, three bedroom, two bath home. And this is at 128 Cold Brook Road, Sherman, Maine, 04776. This has only been on the market for 14 hours. This says it's a 1900 build. Sherman, Maine is right here. So we are right here below Patton, right below Holton, up above Medway. So we are not far from the Bay of Fundy here either. Right here in Sherman, Maine. And Sherman, Maine is in Aerostook County also. So what are we getting? $105,000. This looks gorgeous. 20 acres. There's that white stuff that a lot of us really don't want to see. But if you're living in Maine, you're going to get it. Great place to ride four-wheelers, ride snowmobiles, horseback ride, have farm animals, raise some kids, raise some grandkids, and just explore and enjoy the outdoors. Look at this. Oh my goodness, look at that gorgeous roof. Oh, that is so pretty. And this might be a newer build on the Gambrel style building here. And it looks like it is attached. That is just really pretty. And they are not gonna show us anything of the inside. What a shame. Wow, look at this beautiful piece of property right here. 128 Cold Brook Road. And again, I'm sorry, they're not showing us any interior photographs. You'd think they would have shown at least the main living room or the kitchen or something. It's been on the market for 14 hours. It's a 1900 bill, circa 1900 New England farmhouse situated on 20 acre meadow, 40 by 45, two story barn, new roof and windows and trails nearby and a view of Mount Chase. And that's all they're gonna give us. That's all they're gonna give us. That's unbelievable, $105,000. So if you guys are interested, on 20 acres in Sherman, Maine with a home and a barn with a new roof. I'd be all over this. And this is in Sherman, Maine, 04776. Beautiful piece of property right there. Okay, moving on to this one right here. This is another log cabin build on 44.8 acres of land in Cambridge, Maine, 04923. Wow. Okay, Cambridge, Maine is right here. And we are getting closer and closer to Bangor. We are right here in this neck of the woods. And let's see if it's gonna tell us. We are in Somerset County with this one too. And uh, so this is a log cabin build. It's been on the market for 288 days. So as I've mentioned many times before, the longer they're on the market, there may be more negotiating that the seller will be open to. This is a 1980 log build. 44.8 acres, $120,000. 24 Andrew Ham Road. Let's see what we're getting. Looks like the roof is in good shape. Nice covered porch. Another little log that you log home that we could just put window boxes on. We do have electricity here. We have another 
maybe staircase on the other side. There's a lot that we could do with this. This is adorable too. Oh good, we're getting an interior view. Okay, let's just scroll in a little bit here. So here is a kitchen. And so we do have an electric stove. And we have a little bit of a counter here. There's a lot that one could do with this. There's your wood stove there. So we are getting some electricity with this one. We're getting some carpet. And we're getting some, looks like, particle board in the loft area, the upstairs. And there's your outhouse, I guess, because this one doesn't look like it has a bathroom. But you could add a compost toilet, just like these tiny homes do. And uh, you could live off grid for a while while you finish the property up and make it a full-time property, possibly. Again, when you're there in person, you really get a good look at this. $120,000 and more than 44 acres of land. This is incredible. This is just amazing. 24 Andrew Ham Road. Look at that. And it's 600 square foot cabin. It definitely looks larger than that from this view, but you do have the upstairs. Maybe you could just open it all up and uh, have your way with it. Really nice property. Nonetheless, 44.8 acres for $120,000 Cambridge, Maine. And there is where we're going to end this episode for the moment, you guys. And uh, so, yeah, it's always just interesting to explore and uh, yeah, go up north and enjoy the wildlife and just the beautiful outdoors. Wherever you guys are today, hope you're having a fabulous day and I hope your cups are full of happiness. It's great to see everyone. If you are new here, you are welcome to subscribe to the channel. We are just venturing through state to state, through town to town to see just how much house we get for our money. And today was a beautiful state of Maine. Have a great day, everybody. And until the next state of interest, keep those cups full of happiness and we'll see you again. Cheers.